the Rurock Atlas 4.0. One year later, this is everything you want to hear. Welcome back to the video. Let, let's start that over. Yeah, what up? Welcome back to the video, guys. So today we're gonna be talking about the Rurock Atlas 4.0. I've been using this helmet for over a year right now, and I, I wanted to, I wanted a lot of time to pass it by before I kind of gave you guys my in-depth, thorough review on what I think about this helmet right here. Um, if you have been following the channel for a long time, you know the deception that I had with the 3.0, which I absolutely hate. I'll say right now, 3.0 and any Rural Rock before that's kind of mm. not good, they're kind of trash. The 4.0 is where they got everything almost just right. But let's just show you guys the helmet all around. Carbon fiber, absolutely beautiful. This is a, a really, really nice looking helmet i mean design wise this helmet just just looking at it it looks super cool in any color um they do do a lot of different graphics for it so this is the carbon right here that i have i also have this red ruby carbon this one's pretty nice um they actually sent this out to me um i i really thought that the red was gonna be a lot brighter to match my bike yeah the red's really off it doesn't match my bike whatsoever so i mean i do use it sometimes um, this is the helmet that I use basically every time I ride. Uh, anytime that I'm vlogging, that I'm recording, filming something for you guys, this is the helmet I use. So I do get a lot of use out of it. I do have this gold shield on it. Um, it also comes with the black one, which I'm probably going to switch out to the black one again because the black one looks pretty cool. Um, but th th there is different color options. You get shields, which is pretty awesome. Now, weight-wise, the helmet is pretty light. It is carbon fiber guys now the main reason why i wanted to wait this long to do this video for you guys is because i wanted to see how the whole helmet was going to hold up um and when i'm talking about them i'm talking about the guts inside i want to see if those cheap pads were really going to last in there um as far as internals if anything was going to break apart um these helmets are pretty pricey so i'm not going to sit here and tell you guys hey this is the most amazing helmet this is this is that when in reality it's really not and then you go out there and you spend your hard-earned cash i'm very transparent with everybody on this channel whether it be in a company whether it be in you guys whatever opinion i'm gonna give very very transparent always honest if i like it i like it if i don't i say i won't hence we'll go back to the Rural rock 3 which let me just grab that for you guys this helmet right here it's probably my favorite look in Rural rock an absolute masterpiece the helmet looks great but the fitment was totally off cheek pads were trash it felt like paper um pretty noisy it, it just, the the three was garbage. Fast forward to the 4.0, everything that was wrong on that 3.0, they absolutely fixed on this helmet. So it is quieter. The cheap pads, the materials they use inside, it's an upgrade, it's day and night. Um, the, like I said, the cheap pads in the 3.0 were like paper thin. And after you wore it once or twice, you, you could just felt it that it was just wearing off. It was wearing away. Now with this one. This one actually feels really nice. Uh, the texture is inside. Um, it's a nice, soft texture. It feels really good on the skin. Really comfortable. One thing that I absolutely love about this helmet, and one of the reasons why I really like motor vlogging with this helmet, is because of the chin guard that it has in the front. It's a nice, thick chin guard. It doesn't let any wind go up there. So if you guys do listen to any of the motor vlogs, they do sound pretty clear. And the big reason has to do with that thick chin guard in the front, not allowing a lot of that wind to go up there. Another reason why I really like motor vlogging with this helmet, this little bracket right here, which you can go and connect your GoPro to it, mount it up just how you like it. It's gonna give you the perfect view right in the front. Um, it's it When it comes to the view, it's perfect. And if it's not, let me know because you guys do watch the motor vlogs. Um, let me know how what the position of everything. Do you like where it's at? Do you like where it's not? But it, I, I really do. So the positioning for the GoPro is perfect right in the front. The chin guard keeps a lot of that wind from not hitting the mic inside. Um, the textures inside, the materials inside are really nice and comfortable. They 
they, they still feel thick. It feels real premium inside. Now I have seen a lot of Rurock 2.0s and the first Rurock and some of the threes where literally the guts inside, they kind of break apart. The helmet kind of deteriorates. It's weird, I've seen it. Um, and I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat that Rurock is the best company in the world and this and that and the third. Those helmets from the past are not what you're gonna find with the 4.0. I think they, they literally, you know, they got something wrong on the one, the two, and the three, and then they finally fixed everything for the four, and they made a really good helmet. I, I, I gotta say it. After I had my thing with them, um, and then I, I tried this one, even after I made the video of me kind of like talking so much crap about them, they were like, listen, we made the 4.0, we want to send it to you. Tell us what you think. Um, did we fix the issue, did we not? And yeah, man, like, um, I'm... I'm happy with it. Like I said, this is the helmet that I motor log all the time, and I really like it. Now, as far as the sizing, they did fix the sizing as well. I'll let you know right now, if you're gonna go and order a helmet, measure your head. Don't go ahead and just say almost medium, large, extra large, no, no. Measure your head, get a tape measure, put the thing around your head. You'll get the perfect measurement, and it is pretty, it falls right in line with whatever size you're gonna be looking at. This one right here is a medium large. I'll go ahead and I'll demonstrate and I'll put it on, show you guys how easy it is. Show you guys how the movement is on the face as well. So unlike the other ones, this one just falls right in place where it's supposed to go. Get that wire out of there for my mic. Um, as you can see, it doesn't dance around like the 3.0 used to do. That thing used to just dance around. This one doesn't, it's very firm. Nice press on the cheeks. You want a helmet that's gonna fit very snug on your face and it's not gonna dance around. If the helmet is dancing around on you, it's too big. But this feels perfect. And like I said, the, the, the pads, cheek pads, feel really nice on my face. It's a really nice material that they use for the inside. The shield, you pop it up and you're gonna have different settings. Uh, so we're gonna leave it there, get some wind. Next setting, right there. Next setting, right there. And then all the way up. Um, and it, I, I've worn it in the wind to see if it's gonna flip up or flip down. And it kind of stays in place, it's pretty good with that. Um, one thing that I will recommend is the pin lock. Make sure to get the pin lock because if you get this helmet, just like any helmet, you put a shield, you close it up, you start breathing, especially if it's raining, everything's gonna fog up. Get the pin lock. Uh, once you put the pin lock on, it's really, really easy to put on. Um, the helmet is not gonna fog up. Talking about that, in order to take the shield off, you just unscrew this with your hand, that pops out, this one pops out. The whole thing pops out. You lay the shield down, which if you guys want me to make a video for you, I will make a video for you on that. I might do that because I'm gonna change the windshield to the black one, so I'll probably just make a little video. I'll uh, show you guys how easy it is to put the pin lock on, but literally just lays on there. You lay the windshield down. It, you literally lay it down, it's not gonna break. And then you lay the pin lock in it, and it's as easy as that. Um, another little thing that I like is the strap right here. So the strap has the magnetic on it where you could just Pop it just like this and boom, just like that. So far of the days where you just gotta sit there and strap up your helmet. I mean, I have other helmets which I use a strap. I don't mind what it is what it is, but this is just super easy to do. You just literally boop, clicks on like nothing. And then you can literally pull tug on it and it's it's not gonna come off, it's pretty safe. Um, ventilation is pretty good in here. So you're gonna have some ventilation. You're gonna be able to access it, lock it or unlock it on top. Um, if you want some ventilation for the front, um, you do gotta access it right in the front, so you're gonna put your thumb up and either close it or open it. And then all that steamy hot air is gonna go and ventilate through the back, through the back exhaust. That'll keep everything rotating, wind going in from the front, exiting through the back. Um, the helmet, I mean, it, it runs pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna say that, you know, some helmets do run hotter than others. Um, this one feels great. Um, super light, it is carbon fiber. It is DOT certified and ECE. This is probably one of the best looking helmets on the market. I have my Simpson, which I wear when I'm not motor vlogging because it's, the red kind of matches perfectly my bike and it's like Simpson just, they look super badass. But the Simpson and this are probably the baddest looking helmets on the market. Let me uh, take a little rest right here. Put my feet up, fast forward it. This is how we're gonna be filming from now on from the garage. Nice and comfortable with this Valencia theater chair. You got some LED lightings right here for your cup holder. You can recline it, go to sleep, 
we're gonna be real, real comfortable. I thought we spiced things up in the garage and just kind of changed the whole look and the atmosphere. And I kind of want to be a little bit more comfortable when I'm talking to you guys. If you guys are interested in this chair, I'm gonna be linking their description down below. But I kind of want to make the garage into like this little chill spot now. I'm gonna get a TV in here uh, with this chair. I mean, the fridge is always full of beer. Um, and then the beautiful view of my Rogue Lab right next to me. Like, well, what else can you ask for? Anyway, so that's gonna be pretty much my long-term review on the Rurock. Do I recommend it? Because now you're only gonna ask me, well, do you recommend the helmet? I do, I, I really like it. I've grown to really like it. Um, I hated the three. The four, I love, it's like day and night. Um, and if you are in the market, yeah, it's a, it's a cool helmet. It's awesome, it's light, it looks badass. And it, and it serves a lot of different purposes, man. It, re it really does. For you motor vloggers out there, you're going to love this. Which is one thing I had to mention as well. On the 3, it kind of like, it, it just kind of broke off. And I haven't had any issues with this whatsoever. Anyways, what do you guys think about the Rurock Atlas 4.0? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Are you on the fence about it? This is my one year term review. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. I hope you have learned something new. We got some cool stuff coming down the pipeline. Some more stuff with my Rogue Glide and some cool other little videos coming through soon. Get in, get in, get in, get in, want to tune in for that. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button as it'll notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. I'm gonna keep enjoying the rest of my evening here on my comfortable chair, and uh, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe, and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.